What's up, guys? It's Bladen. This is a this one. We're going to fade in here. We're going to slide immediately. C Fab off the pipe. Pretty simple. Embark in a BT. Slide off. Crouch. Dash off. Crouch. Dash. Crouch. Go over this. Up the side here. Grab Scorch. Dash off that guy's foot. And then crouch. Another dash here. I'm going to try and dash into this wall here and conserve speed. So just under the overhang like that. It's a bit tough to get. I kind of like dash from like the left side of this yellow caution line and then straight around. And that works for me. Ideally you want to go like 50 or so off that part. So we dash down here, dash again. Go off this left side, dash and crouch, hit the edge of that yellow box. Dash around the corner. Don't bonk there. Let me reshow that actually. Dash off, crouch around the corner, dash immediately to change directions. Then we're going to dash again off this little box here. To the corridor, dash at the corner, like that. We're gonna wait for the assembly line here. Dash off. We're gonna charge up our two dashes here. We're going to dash on this rock and this rock specifically. And if we do that, we're going to get caught on the assembly line. This is called wall boost. We're going to get caught on the wall. Just like this. If you're lucky, you can kind of squeeze out at the end there. Let me try and show all the way, all the ways that this can go. Because there's like a few different setups for this. So, dash, dash. Got the same setup again. You can try and dash out at the end like that, but it's pretty risky. Usually I wouldn't go for that, it's kind of inconsistent. If you get a weird setup like that, you just want to disembark and re-embark immediately. Because if you die there... That was a good setup. You notice how I got stuck on the door on like the back side here. I just kept looking across here and I got pushed along, pushed along, pushed along until I got to this pillar. I look 45 degrees to the right and that pops me out at the end here. And that's like the most consistent way to do that wall boost. Any other setup where you kind of just get like blocked around or like sliding around while you're getting pushed. Generally you just want to disembark. You can save it technically. But I went the bother. Don't bother with that. Just disembark. Reembark. And move along. You know to the top of the ramp here. Dash on this box. Dash again. Switch to Scorch. We got a Titan Bite here. Two gas traps. Flame wall. And ideally, they all charge you just like that. That's pretty lucky. You can just kill them with your flame shield. But sometimes they will run off in other directions. You'll have to use your flame core to finish them off. That wasn't bad either. So I like to aim at the middle of the door and then the bottom of the door. Flame wall. I just put up my shield immediately. And they can sneak behind like that. So if you have like all this fire in your screen, they can sneak behind you. So just be wary of that. If they, get, if they do get like really far back, you can just snipe them with a, a flame core and you'll be good to go. Let's just do this one more time and we'll move on to the last section of the level. Because this level is that short. Where does this guy go? onto the pilot section here. So the basic strat is you just dash twice, dash off the end there. I'm going to disembark boost here. Crouch kick, I missed it there though. Let's try that again. Dash off. Disembark boost onto these crates. So you can actually miss space like that. In that case, you just want to continue to slide up over to this wall. Go for a CFIP or a crouch kick off of that and into the structure here. Let me try and get a good clip of this just to show it off. Yeah, you want to like disembark boost from pretty far back there. Crouch kick, 
tap strafe all the way through here. Shoot these guys if they're in your way. You have the Eva, so it should be pretty easy. Come out here, grab this wall, C Feb, strafe all the way around, hit the button, and fall into the void. If you're a bit slow there, you can get stuck on the crane arm. So that's something you gotta watch out for. I might try and show it off here. Quick. Crouch kick. That was a bit low, so we're gonna go pretty slow through here. If you got any guys that are in your way, you can cloak through here. But I find it just doesn't really help all that much. This is kind of slow. You can see Fib. And if you're so slow that this thing can actually get in your way, it'll actually block it the button. So be wary of that if you get kind of a slow segment through there. Just try and like climb back up on the side and wait, and then hit the button and slide down. Oh, I beat you. If you don't like the, the disembark boost here, you can also just go around the left side here completely. Just keep it simple. Go for a crowd check here. Into the button. It's a lot simpler. That's always an option. There is a frag boost here as well. So we're going to show that. We're going to grab the brute loadout and disembark boost. Pull the frag immediately. And I throw it at the start of my slide up there. Shut it again. I think most people do a different way of doing this. They like just straight down here and throw it on the black line. That also works. But I like to do this setup where you just kind of instantly double jump. And you just kind of time it with your slide up. You throw it immediately after. And it's like the same line. You just tap straight through here. And same same stuff. Hit the button. Come through here. Grab the wall. Don't crouch kick. Just sheep it. Hit the button. Into the void. And that is Abyss 1. Pretty short level. Mostly Titan movement. Shouldn't take too long to get down. But uh, that's it. Onto Abyss 2. An even better level than Abyss. You can't wait.